So, you want to know how to import your UIKimi converted design onto your WordPress website in a single click? Let's dive into that process. This is the first screen. From here, you need to select a Figma design template you want to convert. So in this case, let's select this solo travel. And we're assuming you've already optimized this design for better conversion. Let's proceed directly with the conversion process. There, you'll see two options, one for JSON and the other for live import. Let's focus on the live import option. Now, when you click on live import, first, you need to select a site. Here, you need to add a site. To connect your site, simply enter your website URL and your token. But for this process on your WordPress website, you need to install the Uikimi plugin. Let's head to the plugin area. Here, search for Uikimi. Once you find it in the results, install and activate it. Once Uikimi is installed, you'll see this panel. In this panel, what you need to do is go to the security token area. From there, copy the site URL, copy the token, and connect. Now, here you can select which user you want as the main user to import all the designs. You can choose any of your admin users here. You'll see a green signal once the site is connected. Now, you'll see the area we selected, which was solo travel, and that's already available in the import setting. Here, you'll find two options, new and existing. Let's discuss new first. Under new, there are three options, page, elementor template, and nexter template. If you select a page, it will import onto a page. If you select an elementor template, you'll see another dropdown. In that, you'll find options like standard template, header, footer, single post, and so on. Those familiar with Elementor Theme Builder will recognize these options. That means if you select a header and currently Elementor Pro isn't installed on this WordPress website, it will only give the option for the standard template. But if you have Elementor Pro installed, you might have the option to select header, footer, and so on. If you've designed a Figma template with multiple sections from the header, footer, and everything in one click, you can import all of them. So, this is the process for that. Now, the same thing goes for the Nexter templates. With Nexter templates, we've already installed both the free version and the pro version, so all the options are available. You can select as a header or footer, and so on. But for this example, let's go with the Elementor template and the standard template option. Now, let's click Next. Here, you'll see it's ready to import. Now, I'm clicking Import now. You'll see it's imported and showing a green signal. That means you can now click on this link. It will open the link here, and that's it. You can see the whole design, which was in Figma, is now converted into an Elementor. You can also edit it. It's properly converted into Elementor and editable as well. Now, let's return to our Figma plugin area. Let's select another page. For example, let's try the Car Spa page. Now, let's navigate to the Convert process and Live Import. In this case, let's explore the existing option. With this option, you can replace your whole page with the new one. This is handy if you've previously created a page and now want to replace it with an updated version. Or perhaps while designing the Figma file, You've made a few changes and now want to import and replace that page as the existing one. So, let's select Elementor Templates. Here, we have two options, Replace or Add-on. Let's go with Replace for now and choose the Solo Travel Template. Click Next and then Import. Sometimes it might take longer because it's importing all your content as well as images and everything. In some cases, if your Figma design is large, it might take a bit longer. But in our case, it's imported. Let's click on it. OK. So you can see that the page is replaced with the new design. And let me show you from the templates. Here, you can see the single post, which is replaced with the new design. And again, this is editable with Elementor. Let me demonstrate that as well. OK. Now, let's go back and try the third option, 
Let's return to the normal screen. Let's work with this small area of Figma. Let's repeat the same process. This time, let's choose Existing. Now, let's select Add-on. Add-on means if you want to add any design at the bottom of an existing page, then you choose this option. Let's select Elementor Templates. And here, you'll see the same option again, Solo Travel. Let's proceed with the next step. Let's import that. OK, so it's imported. Let's check. So let's scroll down to the bottom part. OK, so here you can see that this template is added at the bottom of that page. So this is how you can do all those things. Now, let's discuss what to do if you have selected multiple pages. For example, in this case, we're choosing a total of four Figma designs. Let's confirm, optimize, and convert them. Let's move to the live import. Now, here, you can add multiple sites if you want, but let's stick with our existing site. Now, here, you can select any of the options. For example, let's select that as new, or if you want to add a second one to the existing. Ultimately, you have all the options for multiple designs as well. So, you can choose the design and options you need based on your requirements. We also have some small, handy options. For example, clicking on this will fill the details based on the previous one. The same goes for here. Clicking this option applies the same settings to all the below fields. These tiny options can save you time if you have 10, 20, or more Figma pages. And that's it. You can import them one by one or all of them. So it's up to you. This was the process of live importing your Figma designs. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment box below. Stay tuned for similar videos regarding Uikami.